All right, so you want to paint some miniatures, but you don't want to take up all the time and make them these perfect little pieces of art because you're not entering any kind of competition. So I made, I did like 17 miniatures. I think I did 10 videos out of it. I'm gonna post them all. And you can just sort of see how you can sort of quickly paint a miniature with cheaper paints because that's why you're painting your miniatures to save money. Uh, because most of the miniatures you get that are painted, they're a little bit more expensive and most of them are now are coming in a box and you really don't know what you're getting. So you go buy some of the non-painted miniatures so you know exactly what you're getting but now you have to paint it. But then the paints that they recommend or they tell you use, like all these uh, miniature paints, you know, they're like five dollars for this little bitty old thing or three dollars for this little bitty old thing and it's super thinned out um and if you're using really thin paint it's going to take you longer to paint the mini because you're going to have to put it more layers on now granted when you take your time and you use the thin paint and you put multiple layers on your mini and you take your time and do the detail and very slow yes it it turns out really well but i use the uh apple barrel from Walmart. Uh, I think this is 57 cents a tube. Um, also, Folk Art. I think it's like 97 or it's $1.57 a tube, something like that. And then they have, you know, like I get some, you know, like white, black, uh, pewter gray, uh, burnt umber, and the big. I think these are 250 apple barrels. Um, and they're. Uh, or they're a little thicker, but you can water them down. And you know, I make my own little thinner with alcohol and water, 50-50, um, to thin it down. And uh, on my videos, I just, I usually pour some of my thinner in here just to keep it nice and fresh where I can shake it up real well and it, it flows out. It's usually still pretty thick and if I need to, I can just water it down with a paintbrush. But uh, it's mostly coming straight out of these tubes and going on to, the miniatures that I'm painting and they still come out really good uh, I think the, on most of the videos I have sped them up to two times to two and a half times their speed so uh, it's a little quicker so you just take however long that video is double it and maybe add about 10 minutes and that's how much long it took me to either paint that many or uh, that set of Mindy's because I did a couple goblins in a set of three some kobolds in a set of three some orcs in a set of two uh, some knolls and sets of two. So here are the minis that I painted. Got some orcs, Bayanti, some kobolds, some goblins, some knolls, skeleton. Spectre, Death Knight, a Ranger, Medusa, Pirate, Dwarf, but that is so, it. But they come out really well, and that's basically what you want. You want a good looking mini that goes right to the board. You don't take a lot of time uh, painting it, and because after you put it on a board, after several games uh, from it being handling it might have to get painted again or touched up and this just shows you a good easy way to get all these miniatures and especially like you know I've ordered like 60 minis I think that needed to be painted over a course of like a year and a half so I'd find them on sale uh, like some reaper bones um, you get the ones that uh, I found some little pewter ones here and there do searches on eBay for uh, some cheaper ones you know some of them are already spray, spray painted flat black and so even the Reaper bombs are spray painted black uh, some of them are the D&D &D miniatures that you get that are supposedly uh, ready to paint they're already primered and I've, I've painted a couple of those in these videos too um, if you don't Say you get some minis and you know you got a game coming up, you don't really have time to paint any of them. Um, one thing you can do is at most the end of most of these videos, you see me dip, I'll have them painted and I dip them in a wash. 
and doing this will bring out all the detail. So just dip them in a wash or run a wash over them, a black wash, let it sit and dry, and that will shadow in all the creases and cracks and crevices that are in the mini and it will sort of make it pop up a little bit so it'll still be like gray or white but it will have some shading to it um, also you can do that before you paint it just to bring out the detail so you can see where some of the detail is and maybe distinguish between oh is that is that a part of his pants is that a part of his boot is that is that a belt is that a shawl or whatever sometimes it will separate everything out so where you can see it better to paint it um, just remember, just watch the videos, see how I quickly put things together, and then that way you can do the same. So you can just go ahead and get your miniatures ready to play because some of us, that's, that's more important to us than, uh, you know, having this super duper painted mini that you're just going to play with. You want it ready to get it and get it on the board and get it in your game. And you know, if you have that one miniature and you got the time after you get everything painted, you can go back, you can touch it up, or you can just have that one that you really want to take two or three hours with to get every little detail and, and uh, pull it all together and blend them paints in and shade it well and highlight it. But, you know, I still highlighted and shaded some stuff on these. I added some good colors. Um, you might see me flash, like, one color and then another color up on, on the screen. And basically, if I do two back-to-back, -back, that just means I'm mixing them until I get the color I want. And I'm not really showing you the quantities I'm mixing them in. Just mix it until you get that color you want. And it shows how well these, these paints really work. They're, I, I like them. They're cheap. And that, that's the main reason because... By the time any of this paint wears off, because I've used it a lot, I'll just repaint it real quick. And I don't have to worry about it. I've had some of these that have lasted for years, and uh, I still have the colors. I have a whole array uh, behind me uh, that I use, and if I see any new colors that I don't have when I go to Walmart to pick up some milk and eggs, I'll run through there and see what colors they have, and there's a color I don't have, I'll grab it, and then that way I have it on hand. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, like the channel if you want to get notifications uh, for when I do put up some other videos. I try to put up whenever I can, but I'm just doing this for fun. So, as always, the table calls. Keep gaming.